I know uh, you guys are big on zombies and stuff. I've, I've watched enough Gearbox. <laughs> you guys, I mean, during the apocalypse, you could actually put a zombie in this, and I think it's strong enough to hold them. Chris, welcome to the show, man. Hey, man. Thanks for having me. Good Heck to get an yeah. in-person Gearbox Talk here. And mm -hmm. I'm excited. This is a little bit of a throwback because we kind of changed up the format of Gearbox Talk a little bit. But we, we work with Dakota 283, and mm -hmm. you do. And right. you're close. So we said, dude, we got to get them in to talk about why this kennel. And there's a lot of options out there. So you're a dog guy. Why did you, why did you pick this one? Uh, well, the Dakota 283, for one thing, it's, it's not overly heavy, but... The features on the kennel are great. Uh, it's it's a kennel that you can you can fill it up with mud and have it sprayed out in like ten seconds. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, not a lot of like crevices and stuff to get no, into. No, there's nothing in there. It's and it's bull. I mean, this thing is. I I want to do a video where we're driving down the road and like throwing it out of the back of the truck and hitting with a side by side and doing all kinds of stuff. Because no dog. It's super, no, no dog. dog. Yeah, no dog in it. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I mean it's just super durable. It's got options. You can tie it down from through any of the vent holes with a with a simple strap, or you can you can send a strap all the way through here and tie it front and back. Yep. You know, it's it's convenient. I can carry it in and out of a hotel room, put it in the truck the next morning, and get on the road or whatever. You know, it's just versatile. You know, we it's might great. be able to talk Braden into getting here and doing like jackass style, <laughs> dropping one off the truck and seeing how he fares. Better That's me right. than a dog, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, what what size what model is this and then tell me through like what options you get with these because i'm not as familiar with the specific models because mm -hmm. obviously these things are big i don't really see a lot of them because they ship out of a different warehouse from right. here you know this product pretty well though walk me through some of your options here uh well with, this is the g3 medium and this is the one we're giving away that Braden's going to talk about oh that's right but uh you've got you've got a full length hinge all the way down the front so you don't have anything that is that is uh you know just a couple cheap hinges there uh you got a stainless steel slap latch i call it a slap latch that locks and then it's also got you know it's reinforced here on the frame with uh, a, a metal piece that, yeah. that actually holds the latch so it's it's built to take abuse it's built to be durable and and last you a lifetime yeah, I saw it comes with a set of keys, too, so you it can does. make sure it's locked back there. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so th and that's important, you know, when you start talking about security for your for your dogs. A lot of these dogs are are uh, worth a lot of money, or they're very valuable. If they're not worth a lot of money, they're very valuable to the people mm -hmm. that are hunting them. Oh, yeah. So uh, it's it, security feature is, is outstanding on them, too. Yep, yep. So, and it's one piece construction. I'm sorry, Brad. It's one oh, piece good. construction, so you can't take it apart. It's not going to come apart. We've all seen the the two part uh, kennels, and and you lose the wing nuts, and then yep. what do you do? Then you're zip tying and doing all kinds of stuff. But this this is one piece construction with uh, good gates and slap latches. It's yeah, awesome. and and dog guys may know, but I I don't. I have a dog, but I'm not a, I'm not in it in the weeds like we talked about in your show. Yeah. I don't know as much about it as you guys do. Walk our audience through if they're just getting into this. How do you know what size to get for your dog? You want to buy the kennel that is the the dog can live its entire adult life in okay. you know from the puppy to an adult that is the size of kennel that you want to get uh the step up deal is is good if you've got a, a crate training problem then you might want to step down but best money spent is just to buy the kennel that is going to be the size that your dog is going to have for the rest of its life what, what size dog would you put in here like up to what weight it's recommended for uh, 60 to 70 pounds, one, really? one dog. Really? Okay, that mm -hmm. big. Okay. Yeah, dogs, I mean, I think a lot of times working dogs is different than pets. Um, the dogs are the same, but the way we perceive them is right. different. A working dog can spend uh, a night in this kennel, and if it's crate trained, he's got plenty of room. He can spread out in there. He can lay in there. Uh, he doesn't need this big, luxurious thing that's <laughs> as big as this table. Yeah, right. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't want to 
keep them in there every day, 24 hours a day. That's not what this kennel is made for. It's made for transportation. It's made for confinement for a limited period of time in a hotel room, a cabin, camp, wherever you're at. Right, right. How, how long have you been using these? Uh, about two years. I've had I've had th- this particular kennel for two years, but I've had, you know, dog boxes and different things for the last forty. I so. sort of say that's a that speaks actually more highly than it may sound for people that may not know you because you've you've kind of had your run the gamut on different kennels and right. ha- and. I would argue that two years with you is like my 40. Cause, you know, <laughs> it's like, because your two years, you've probably abused several of these things, I, I can imagine, and put them through the ringer. Yeah. How are your yeah. originals holding up? They're good. I mean, I've actually got one out in the truck, and uh, there's a dog in it right now. It doesn't look much different than this, and that kennel's been with me for a couple of years now, and it's ridden in the back of the truck from here to New Mexico or Arizona and back, and I mean, all over true story i was gonna get the dog on the podcast but i can never figure out how to get the headsets on. right like it just <laughs> right. doesn't work we tried it one time there may have been some drinks involved uh but, yeah, but you know you actually it, did I remember yeah, that. yeah we did it, that show never aired uh for a lot of reasons but i know uh, you guys are big on zombies and stuff i've, I've watched enough gearbox <laughs> true. Guys, i mean during the apocalypse you could actually put a zombie in this and i think it's strong enough to hold them. you could hide out from a zombie and yeah it works on the inverse and you've uh, even yeah. got gun ports yeah that's like right. all the way around <laughs> so <laughs> even uh, in the back yeah if you're building like a very small bunker in your backyard mm-hmm. you, this could double for that so <laughs> yeah um what's the price point on this thing uh this one i believe is uh 5.99 is that right okay. no no. no, no, the G3 the should G3? be around 425 off. Oh, uh, okay. Look at 399, hey. 399. Brayden sell a bunch of different models. Off the, off off the go wild what, What's 175 bucks to Brayden over here? <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Money back. <laughs> okay. Now, and the, they've got kennels that do range up that. That's high. right. The yeah. ones that the XL the, and all that. Yeah, yeah we up, sell. Yeah. We, oh, dude, we're selling a lot of these right now. It's a very popular product. Yeah. Um, they're, they're getting great reviews from Go Wild, which is why we had you in to talk about it. Mm-hmm. We got a couple minutes left here on this show. I want to talk a little bit about what you guys are doing with one of these. So tell me about your show and the, and the giveaway. Well, thanks to you guys uh, at Go Wild, you guys have got a kennel here, and you approached us about. Uh, doing a giveaway on it so what we're doing is through the month of june we are logging our time on go wild and that gives people an opportunity so it's real easy you listen to the podcast you log your time on the app and then the first part of july we're going to draw for this and ship it out the more times you listen the more chances you get to win it that's right. And I love the time logs because I always encourage people to tell us what you thought about the show, too. You know, so if people are listening, you know, and if the I've been on a couple times with mm-hmm. you guys, if you're tagging us, tag tag the host and the guest, and yeah. then you can kind of dialogue with them. It's That's one thing that's super unique about the platform is that you get to interact with the host. You get to talk to the people that are on the show and see what other people thought about it. So you guys have been one of the most popular shows we've had over the last couple of months. Um, thanks so much for doing the giveaway. If people want to time log, I'll go ahead and tell them it, it, you hit the plus sign go to log time you'll scroll down to see outdoor podcast mm-hmm. and we're adding you guys to that list there uh if you if you're not in there yet they are on just, the front page uh, oh you're yeah. on there now okay yeah. we got you uh that yeah. was something we were working on so you'll see that podcast there tap that and then you'll find the show whatever right. show you just listened to so all right guys anything else that i missed on talking about this kennel I think that's it, man. Log your time for this show, too. That's Talk right. To yep. Us. That's right. On yeah. Gearbox Talk, it's one of the, the shows on that list there. All right. Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for listening. Make sure you log it and make sure you get in on that giveaway because this is a – even if even if you don't hunt or use a dog, uh, this would be an awesome gift for a friend or somebody else that, to get entered. Absolutely. Go, so go listen to Houndsman I mean, XP. These, these things aren't just for hunting. We throw them on the boats, you know, yep. when, and, and all that time. If you've got a dog, then you need a way to contain it in some – some uh different situations so great product yeah my dad actually hikes a lot with his dog and i'm going to mention these to him because he's using the old like metal crates that kind of collapse down and uh nowhere near as nice as one of these things so all right thanks guys